Well, Sam says, look, when you see the uh, psychiatrist exaggerate, he's seen every trick in the book, like on a daily basis, okay? And you got to get him to send you up to the civilian shrink because the civilian shrink, he doesn't care if you're going to the military or not. He just wears a suit and tie and some horned rim glasses, you know, to get through the day, and he can actually get you out. So, um, yeah, his the uh, civilian shrink's word is final. Well, for 20 guys to see the first shrink, and uh, Jade is psychiatrist. He simply asks, What's your problem? <laughs> I reply, I have no problem. When I meditate and, you know, get out to about where the moon is and look back at Earth, there are no countries, there are no borders, there are no foreign people. Um, there's no distinctions between nations, which are just an illusion, made up illusion, passing show. Can't wait to get this show over with. Um, this is totally authentic. Mm -hmm. We lock eyes for a moment. Mm. He senses my sincerity. Kid, you're not antisocial. You're asocial. You don't have a society. I think you better see the civilian shrink. Hmm. Uh, well, by this time, the whole awful induction scene is winding down for the day. It's Friday afternoon. The great war game is fading out. And turns out I'm scheduled to see the top shrink first thing on Monday morning. <laughs> So I take the public bus back to Coyote's apartment while the other passengers are riveted by my self-confident, serene vibe. <laughs> Full-length burgundy robe, pierced lips. Remember, this is La Mada City. Fifty years ago, like you come into town on one end, there's like a seven-story spark plug. You come in from Cincinnati on another freeway. There's a 20-story tire. This is the culture here. Uh, these guys carry metal lunch buckets to the assembly line. And they never thought. <laughs> Today of somebody <laughs> wild weekend. <laughs> Why? Because Coyote and I um, agree that the best way to avoid Vietnam is to get as fucked up as possible. Yeah. Uh, well. That brick of, uh, of pot from Berkeley comes out of the fridge and down the hopper goes more LSD tabs. And we just fuck until dawn. Poor food, huh? pretty much shredded up. We lumped that thing up. Well, okay, so it's much the bloodshot, wary eyes, coyote. Kindly drives me to the Fort Wayne Military Induction Center. Uh, they review my papers, a military clerk, and he orders me to sit on a hardwood gymnasium floor. They love these gymnasium type stuff. Uh, well, my strategy throughout my whole trip in America has to be absolutely clear-minded and truthful. 
So I sit in full lotus meditation position. As soon as I am interrupted by this high-ranking sneering <laughs> officer, hey kid, you want a safety pin to hold that fucking dress on? Because when you get to Fort Dix on a basic training, your ass is going to be cold. <sighs> No, thank you. I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Go back to meditate. I appreciate why Tibetans consider Westerners barbarians. Spiritually just... <clears throat> Well, finally, I am escorted into the waiting room of the top shrink. Mm -hmm. Well, well, it's about 40 other, uh, I guess, uh, nutcases like me uh, waiting. And they're all watching the dating game uh, television show on a black and white TV. I think I'll sit over here and meditate on, on the carpet. Get as clear as possible. Well, um, I'm a, I'm aroused to see the psychiatrist in my mind. <laughs> Absolutely crystal clear. As soon as I walk into his office, uh, Doctor Anderson says, "What does it mean? A no, uh, a Rolling Stone gathers no moss." Movement cleans. <laughs> uh, what's it row about? Explain. Mm -hmm. uh, any suicides in your family? Mm -hmm. My father's father and his brother killed themselves. One with a handgun. One, uh, uh, my uncle put a rifle in his mouth and blew the back of his head off. Hmm. Um, I vowed <clears throat> to never kill a living creature. It's one of the five vows I take. Is I try to put it, frame it to him, like maybe think of a Catholic priest or something in the Christian tradition. Uh, and I would suggest, and I like f straight up. I would suggest, I would counsel all people around me within the military to not kill any creatures also. Save their souls. You know, and, uh, well, that's when he cuts me off. And he does have these horn rim glasses that I'm like, what? Uh, who does he think he is? Um... Young man, you would be a horrible influence within the U.S. military system. Mm -hmm. And he stamps my paperwork. Unfit for military service. 